All right, so I'm recording a bunch of videos today in a hopes to kind of catch up to the slower pace I've had recently due, due to real life shit. So one of the videos I'm covering today is a goon video on one of the more slept on villains in DC Comics, and that is Amazo, one of the greatest chain snatchers you'll see in fiction. Today we're going to celebrate the moments in which he has pulled off amazing chain snatch moments if you want to see your favorite character on the goon or jobber series or if you want to see them in the beef series or worst places to live hit me up on discord and we can discuss purchasing a video and prices uh and also run the likes up 500 to 600 likes i'll bring amazo back but with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this without further ado let's get in so this character amazo of course if you don't know is an android like character created by i believe it's professor ivo and is made to destroy all heroes like league members that come against him he's had several additions to himself throughout the years including a black bodied form regular bodied form some of them more advanced than the others and i'm going to be discussing all of them and some of their funniest chain snatching feats throughout history first up is when he fights uh certain league members they realize oh shit even though he's not experienced he's stolen superman's powers and he's stolen batman's skills and he proceeds to beat the shit out of characters like red tornado and run off on the plug showing even at an early time He's one of the best chain snatchers you could hope to see. Next hero to unfortunately suffer the chain snatching prowess of Amazo was indeed Elongated Man. Elongated Man's you know, properties and ability to absorb physical damage because of his malleability was what was stolen and when Hot Girl pulled up swinging with Nth Metal on amazing he was like stupid bitch i stole a useful ass power for this situation and he tanks it and gets her ass and he was gonna fold her but fortunately in her case someone intervened but yeah he he chain snatched elongated man smoothly and used his power perfectly next we gotta include it because batman was gassing him up so amazo's obviously built designed to take on the league and he deserves to be respected as such which great intellects like batman definitely do in fact he i think it was superman he was talking to he was like yo amazo fought a cheetah right but get take this right like cheetah damaged him but she had to have literally taken power from every big hitter in the league to even step to Amazo. So I was like, damn. The fact that he's gassing up Amazo like this casually, pretty impressive for the boy. So yeah, definitely a goon feat if you got that boy Batman gassing you up to the rest of the people. This chain snatch moment has to do with Parasite and Adam. You see, Amazo gets into a brawl with several members of the league. This included the likes of, I believe, Red Tornado and a Lantern. And as they're scrapping with Amazo, he's swinging back. And Lantern suddenly senses his power and energy being drained. And that's when we see Tornado go, yo, he's stolen like powers from multiple people. This has got to be Parasite. Basically, Amazo, when they're trying to jump his ass, he's like, yo, analyze. Tell me which chain I snatched to use right now, like instantly. And he used Parasite to drain them, fight back. And then he used Adam to shrink and run off on the plug. It was a beautiful textbook run off on the plug and chain snatch moment from Amazo. So it had to be included. Next, we have a moment which was a bigger flex than most people might think. So Superman's eye beams have done a lot of damage over the years. I mean, they've hurt Darkseid. They've hurt other new guys. They've hurt archetypal beings. They've healed reality. They've faced the Omega Beams, all this shit. Superman goes up against Amazo, who's currently being restrained by the lasso. And he blasts away at Amazo, 
just for Amazo to casually headbutt away the beams like they were jokes. This is actually a pretty big goon moment because not many characters just casually headbutt that away, but Amazo did that while just being pissed off, which is very impressive. Next, this is a very disrespectful chain snatch moment. So while he was getting jumped, because as you know, Amazo's constantly getting jumped. No one wants to fight him fairly. He goes up against a reality warper in the form of the magic user Zaytana. Now Zaytana, when she pulls up on him, of course, this is a dangerous character to go against because Zaytana can basically do whatever she wants. Well, that makes for an amazing power for a character like Amazo. So he's like, run that power, bitch. Steals her reality warping capabilities and then literally makes her shut her dumb mouth by reality warping away her mouth and continuing to brawl with other characters. This was a god tier moment from Amazo. And I had to include it on the list. Next, hit the like button, by the way, if you haven't already. Um, he almost put Superman on a t-shirt. This was bad. So he's going back and forth with Superman. Superman is powerful, but of course, in a 1v1 with Amazo, who's already stolen multiple power sets, Amazo's not really worried about that shit. Amazo and him get the scrapping. He blasts away at Amazo. And his eye beams, his energy beams, were doing crazy damage. In fact, he dropped Superman within a panel to his knees. Superman had to be saved by Wonder Woman who stepped in to deflect the beams. But yeah, he was getting folded by Amazo in this exchange. And those beams nearly put him on a t-shirt. This next moment's pretty disrespectful. So, in a matchup with Firestorm who, if you guys don't know, is typically displayed as a character that is two different uh, humans that come together to form the super-powered, um, you know, energy-bending and manipulating character known as Firestorm. Well, this shit went south when Firestorm ran into Amazo. Amazo, using powers including the Green Lantern power set, was able to casually unmake the likes of firestorm and absolutely one shot the character leading i think it was hot girl to having to save the two fused characters at the time this moment is again another time he's gassed up but thankfully this particular moment comes after he's put in work you know it's not like just empty gas and it comes from one of the more clouded characters when it comes to fighting so at one point, Wonder Woman, after seeing all that Amazo's done, all the chains he's snatched, all the people he's beat up, she goes, yo, real shit, me nor Superman are strong enough to actually go one-on-one -on -one with Amazo and fold him. Like, he's actually above us. In fact, the, like, difference between us is so bad that even if you combined us, we're not strong enough. And it was, I was like, damn. Like, Amazo at this point, his dri his drip's ridiculous. I mean, Wonder Woman's ready to throw in the fucking towel if you read this without context. But yeah, Wonder Woman definitely gassed him up. And well-deserved because he, of course, fights teams. He doesn't run the 1v1. Next, we have the time that the t-shirt gang failed. So... This was the Justice League. It was one of them, at least. And they tried to put him on a t-shirt, right? They tried to kill Amazo, blew up his head. His head was gone. Boom. Well, they left his body unattended, right? You don't do that shit. You never let a goon like Amazo get time to come up with a plan, heal, any of that. Well, they did. And they're like, oh, shit. Go check on his body. Make sure he didn't regenerate the, his head. When they get to him, they literally see him go regen complete. Turns around and starts folding them and blowing up their building. It was a catastrophe. That's right. If you want to beef with Amazo, make sure you put him down 100%. Because if you don't, the boy is going to bounce back and run the fade once more. Next... We have a successful 2v1 
that Amazo has ran before. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, he really likes the Green Lantern powers. This kind of makes sense because, in theory, Green Lantern's powers are super broken. I mean, it's literally just Will as a concept being manipulated and powered and going with the mind and creativity. And as a droid, he can kind of come up with a whole bunch of wild shit. He uses this power, runs the 2v1 against Steel, who is Superman in a suit, trying to trap hard in a suit, and Flash. Who's the Flash? Flash gets folded once more. But yeah, he runs the 2v1 against them. He's like, I ain't scared of y'all bitches. And pretty easily puts hands on both and was comfortable in the trenches, throwing straight bungalows with both of them. Next... We have the time that, you know, at, at this point, Amazo's fought multiple people, chain snatched multiple characters. He's folded multiple people. I mean, he's a big deal. They're analyzing him, trying to figure out uh, how to beat him. One of the characters is the Atom. He's the only one at that point that's not, like, completely shook at the prospect of beating the Atom. But this lady's like, look, he's so strong at this point and what's bullshit is if we keep sending league members at him he's literally gonna chain snatch them like he'll just take their shit and be stronger than them and he's already stronger than them so that's the problem and adam's like yo relax like you know i'm this is what i do like i get paid the big bucks to figure shit like this out but they're like nah we need to be scared of this bitch because he's absolutely broken and he chain snatches everybody so yeah they literally had to like Consider giving up on just sending reinforcements in general because he just chain snatches them and gets even stronger, which is hilarious. This next one is a 1v1 that was super disrespectful. So, when you think of Super League characters, let me know in the live chat what you think of them. First thing that comes to mind in terms of like what they do in their powers, right? I'll give you an example. Flash, speed. Right? You should instantly think of speed. Um... Green Lantern, the Lantern Ring, right? Martian Manhunter, telepathy. That's what I think of, at least, for the first thing I think of him. With that in mind, Amazo ran up on Martian Manhunter and was like, Oh, you want to run the 1v1? We can do that. Pulls up on Manhunter and absolutely folds. Um, Manhunter in the one-on-one... -on -one, telepathic battle i mean was melting him in the battle and was it, it was almost instant too i think on the first panel so him running up and challenging manhunter at what he's best at is absolutely nuts but of course amazo did that shit because he doesn't give a damn now finally last moment make sure to run the likes up hit the like button subscribe and all that if you haven't already as well as go check out my second channel the coffee shop which i'll be posting on very soon um, we see Amazo's chain snatching abilities get the final hype up. So they're talking about Amazo. They're like, yo, this dude chain snatches everybody. I mean, his efficiency is ridiculous. He even steals, like, skill. So how is this so crazy? And they're like, yo, Professor Ivo literally built Amazo to steal shit on a conceptual level. That's right. His chain snatching ability, his ability to run your shit and use it is on a literal conceptual level, which is absolutely crazy. But again, you want to be the best at what you do, you got to step up big time. And that's what he does. He wants to be the best chain snatcher. And Amazo has a case for it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are a fan of Amazo and videos like this, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, all that. Comment down below what you want to see next. I got Deadpool, Black Panther, um, as well as their beef will be a video too. A lot of fun stuff coming this week. I hope you guys enjoy it, as well as a bunch of battles going up on the coffee shop this week, uh, including a lot of comic battles like Upside Down Man and Chaos King. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boys Jobber and Goon, and I will see y'all later. Peace.